Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of My D5 Pet. Today we are talking about how to claim your D Pet back if you've lost it or report it in the right way so that it is in their hands for them to pay us back because a lot of DPA has been lost and we'll look, be looking into how much DPA has been lost. If you want to keep up to date with any further information on DeFi pet updates, changes, here's the place to do that. I'll try and do my best to research and keep you up to date with everything that comes along. There's some big news today we'll be going into as well. Okay, let's do this. So, we have obviously a problem in that there's been a lot of bugs with breeding on the Binance Smart Chain, particularly in the past there has been bugs with actually getting eggs that's been fixed now as far as i'm aware from my side of things um but other people have been losing things so i thought i would i want to put this in the uh youtube in the description of this video so the people have just a go-to place to be able to know where to report it because finding this form can be quite difficult if you're not part of De telegram as well you're not going to get this information very easily so if you have got a, a, a bug and you have lost some D pets, what I've done is I've popped in the description below where the, the current My D5 Pet bug report form is. So this is it. And we'll be going through that, just how to report that information, where to find things. Um, and I'm doing this because I, I wanted to know how much D pet tokens have actually been lost in this. It, it total just from our viewers. And so I put out this poll. Out of interest, can you record how many D pet tokens you've lost in failed transactions? only counting if your d-pet still hasn't been returned to you or your evolved breed egg hasn't gone through now 484 people voted 64 percent of people haven't had anything lost um, whether that's through not actually making any purchases or whether it is um they have had the breed egg gone through um don't know but 20 plus tokens have been lost by 13 percent of that 484 votes so i worked out what 13 percent of those votes are then times that by 20 it's something like over 10,000 d pet and then the rest accounts for about four or five thousand d pet so 15,000 in d pet tokens just from these viewers that have been voted voting have lost d pet tokens and have not had it returned to it that's pretty bad but, I mean, we have been assured that we will get that back. Everything on the, the, the blockchain is recorded. My problem is how we're going to get it back. Because, obviously, we've got this report form, but you can only submit it once. So, if you've lost it more than once, that provides you with a bit of a problem. You can email support, um, but whether that's a route to be able to get it back. I'm not sure. So to use the form, you can post your email address in there. Wallet address can be found if you're using MetaMask. You can copy to clipboard and then just paste that in. You can put the blockchain network. So for example, BSC. Now transaction hash. The transaction record is in your MetaMask. So make sure you do this as soon as you have the bug. You can go to your activity and like this is one for crypto blades. You can just go to here and if you view at BSC, You'll get your transaction hash. You can just click copy there and then you can go into your form and paste it in there. What bug are you experiencing? So breeding bug was one that I had. You have to put the type ID of your pet mother and left and father right. Um, that's pretty hard information to go back and then remember. So this is, you know, you've got to do this right after the mistake has happened. Um, other bug, clarify and give them more details. It asks you to screenshot it and give a clip. Who's been recording a clip beforehand knowing that there would be an error? Only me because I've been recording a video, but I don't think anybody else will have. And then you can't screenshot the absence of something. So if the breed hasn't gone through and there's nothing in the reading, you've got nothing to screenshot. So <laughs> I don't know what, I mean, people may have, so have something to show. But it's it puts it in as a, it's an essential required thing. So... <laughs> Why is that not optional? Telegram ID, how many pets you have exactly in your um, account and any suggestions for the team improvement. I've just suggested, you know, probably quicker response time because I haven't had D-Pet for about two weeks from a bug two weeks ago. And I don't really know how, how I'm getting it back, when I'm getting it back. So a bit more clarity on that would be good. But they have 
posted frequently saying rest assured everything is recorded in the blockchain it will be sorted but that was two weeks ago so uh, i'm not sure how that's gonna happen um so that's how to get it back d5 pet making a surge as predicted i've I've aped in on it. I've I've lumped in at 8.2 because we just got a huge announcement. Uh, so this is the extra news that I wanted to talk about. There's two big bits of news, maybe three actually. Uh, so my D5 pet. And that price is going up now because... Oh, it's not actually listed on there yet. That's why it's early information. KuCoin. KuCoin, a very big exchange, well-respected exchange, is now listing deep at on KuCoin. It's going to be huge. Listings, when they go on KuCoin, usually we'll see a 50% increase. This is a coin that is on the market beforehand, so available on PancakeSwap. So I think we'll see the increase now rather than actually when it gets listed, which is what we're seeing. It's gone from 8.2 to 8.64 you know, up 6% in the past 15, past hour ever since that was released. Uh, it's had a bit of a bad, a bad turn after, after here, after we saw all time highs uh, of 10.8, dipped quite badly to 7.2, but it's, it's recovered. And I think we'll see it recover now, especially seeing as we've got most valuable builder being it was meant to announce yesterday, but uh, so Deepep announced that it would be announced yesterday in the Telegram group, but it's still not. So I'm hoping that it will be today, and my DeFi pet will hopefully place in that top ten because that'll be more more of a boost to it, taking the price even further. Um, and then finally we had a a brand new policy created on my defo pet so this is a hack slash cheat policy which i think is really good to have in i'm glad they put this in so it's they've bit they've acted quickly and they have you know recognized that people are doing it there have been bans already so you know people have been hacking the game and obviously just probably rinsing getting loads of silver um and food and cheating that way and then there's the taking advantage of the bugs so they've put in the first time you cheat you will be banned for three months three months is a huge amount of time in this game it hasn't been out for three months i don't think no i don't think it's been out even out been out for three months so you would lose a whole period of farming and that's not something you want to do second cheat banned for a year and then the third cheat will be banned forever I mean, wow. These are some serious anti-cheat systems and banning. Huge ban times. So don't even risk it. If you find a bug that you can exploit, don't do it, report it. Because it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. And yeah, really good to see this. That they've reacted quite quickly and quite severely to discourage any future things that will make the game unfair for people um giving on people an unfair advantage i think is a bad thing you know using third party devices like auto clickers as well you know they they're just i mean they, they <laughs> i can see why people use them because doing taking you know doing planting every 30 minutes or what i do or an hour or whatever you do with tomatoes um it's, it's quite time consuming. Um, but yeah, that's going to lead to a ban if you exploit it. So don't. And that, I think, is all the news we have for my DeFi pet. But that's how to get your potentially report it. You might have to report two transaction hashes. I don't know. Maybe you have to put add it into the, the further um, clarifying the bug. Uh, if you've got more than one. But yeah, basically, you want to get on it straight away if you've had the bug. And that's that's how to do it. If you're using another, um, if you're using Trust Wallet, it's the same. You'll have the recent activity in there. 
And that is all for this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.